Like you're, like you're rested and refreshed with a bye bit. week. It feels like it's 95 degrees out. It's a, as we tape this, it's going to be a little bit cooler. We talked Penn State, Ohio State in prime time at Beaver Stadium. Uh, but before we get to that, James Franklin addressed some defensive personnel today. Uh, and I think it's significant moving forward, not only for the Ohio State game, but also for the, for the remainder of the season. It looks like there's a good chance, it's not locked in stone, that middle linebacker Jason Kabinda will be back. He has not played uh, since uh, the Kent State game. And also there was a move on the depth chart at the defensive tackle position. But first, let's talk about Kabinda. Yeah, let's do it. Kabinda is a guy that obviously has played a lot of football. So I think if he's cleared by the medical staff, you're going to see him play a lot of football on Saturday. They're going to have to work him back in slowly, I think. I don't know what exactly his injury was, of course, but it seems like that it was upper body, which seems to make it a little bit easier to come back. So <laughs> that giant, that giant yeah. wrap around his left wrist and thumb pretty much yeah, it narrows it, it down. Yeah, so I think we'll see him. And yeah. It's obviously a good news for Penn State. Yeah, I think the significance of it is Jason's a versatile linebacker, and if he would come back, Penn State could probably just keep Brandon Smith in the middle and play him some at outside uh, along with Manny Bowen. I think Cole Farmer's also earned some, uh, some time in the second half regardless of how it plays out. Well, I'm not sure about Jay Cooper, but it'll be interesting to see uh, if Kabinda can, can, can come back against Ohio State and how much he'll play. He was a little bit more murky with regard to Brandon Bell. I yep. think of the two, I think the chances are better that Jason Kabinda will be back. I thought it was also interesting they released the depth chart at defensive tackle. And Kevin Gibbons is now running second team because there's a new projected starter yep. uh, at the three technique. There is. Curtis Cothran, he missed the first four games. He was then suspended for the first half of the Maryland game because of a targeting flag and an injection against Minnesota. Is now listed as a starter. James said they feel like he's been doing some nice things, and I think that can probably look at what he said about the offensive guard situation, about they use Chaz right there because they needed more mass, and I think that's what Curtis Cothran gives them on the other side of the ball inside as well. Now one last thing, I'm still curious to see how the offensive line will look. Yep. Paris Palmer is listed as a starter at left tackle. Uh, Brendan Mann is on the right side. There's some flexibility there. I think they can always move Brendan back if things don't work out. It's just a question of whether they like Chaz Wright enough to play him over Paris Palmer. Yeah, that's what they're going to come down to, and I think that